We have new details tonight on the survivors and the suspect accused of plowing into them over the weekend. The group of cyclists were competing in the bike the bluff road race at the time, never expecting that a driver would be slamming into them. Seven people wound up in the hospital. And as one of them tells Team 12's Colleen Sakura, things could have been worse. The road wasn't supposed to be easy. It's a hard race. It's pretty hilly, but uh, nobody was expecting this. But it was made harder when police say Sean Chalk drove into a group of cyclists Saturday morning in Sholo as they started off the bike the bluff race. I remember starting the race. And then I literally don't remember. Including Kurt Cromer. Well, next thing I remember is lying in the hospital. People like Allie Wilson. When I looked to my right, I saw all of the bodies sprawled out everywhere and, and blood, just like so much blood. Jumping in to try to help. You just looked at the chaos around and it was just surreal and, sh and shocking to see people that I knew, you know, in, in pain and and just these, you know, strong men just, you know, bleeding. Allie, a nurse, remembering the first man she came across. He uh, couldn't, re he couldn't talk. There was a lot of blood and, um, you know, I just could tell him it was going to be okay. In total, police say seven people ended up in the hospital. They really could have been way worse. This guy could have. And he could have killed some people. Police say Chalk fled the scene down the road where they say he resisted arrest. Police shot him and he's still in the hospital. Department of Corrections records show Chalk served time for charges from 2009. Chalk pled guilty to aggravated DUI, assault and shoplifting. Court documents from the case say he's believed to have stole cigarettes, drove away intoxicated and kicked a police officer. <laughs> Cromer is on the road to recovery from neck, wrist and ankle injuries, but is trying to focus on the positive. I'm I'm going to be okay, but there's other people that are, are worse off and just keep everybody, keep those people in their thoughts and prayers. Colleen Sikora, 12 News. A community vigil will be held tonight for the victims and their families in Sholo at 7 p.m. at White Mountain Bible Church. America